Has Sister Abigail's identity been revealed? What is the latest on the canceled return of Brock Lesnar? Share, subscribe, smash that bell. Leave your comments. Share my videos on Facebook and Twitter. Like my official Facebook fan page that's showing you in over on Facebook. Sister Abigail's identity revealed. Remember, smash that bell, subscribe, turn on all notifications. Brash and brazen, I will not be overtaken. For what it's worth, NXT star Sage Beckett posted the following tweet after the segment. Beckett signed with WWE this past January and most recently competed in the Mae Young Classic. She was, however, eliminated in just the first round of the tournament by Bianca Belair. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we saw the promo. We saw what Bray Wyatt presented. We saw what it was all about last night. And that was very strange. It was very interesting. And it was very compelling. And I am very intrigued to see if Sister Abigail is d indeed going to be Sage. And that, I think, would definitely um, add that component that Bray Wyatt has been missing. And maybe this is going to be exactly what Bray Wyatt needs, that boost and that momentum to his career. And I just hope that it can be saved. Um... A former WWE creative writer is revealing canceled plans about Brock Lesnar. A lot of my viewers and subscribers want me to talk about this. If there's a news item that I didn't cover or that you didn't see that I uploaded, just send me a message or a comment. Say, Sean, I want you to cover this rumor that I didn't see you talk about or I didn't hear you talk about. Or sometimes I do talk about the rumors in the news and you don't get my video. So just refresh my YouTube page multiple times a day just to make sure I didn't already talk about the topic. Um, the, the former WWE creative writer said the following, I really liked The Brock and Batista because of the uh, parallel, parallels going back to OVW. It was a classic, traditional Vince McMahon collision course of two massive forces. It was a big money match. Batista needed something different to shake things up for him, and Brock Lesnar could have really fit that mold rather well. Um, we're going to have to have him trail of, uh, we're going to have to have him leave a trail of wreckage until Batista said, that's enough. You're on my turf. I'm going to put down that great white shark. Former WWE writer Court Bauer recently did an interview um, on Wrestling Inc. to promote MLW One Shot event and revealed that the idea WWE had for Lesnar's return to the company in 2005, which obviously never ended up happening. So that is the original plans for Brock Lesnar's canceled WWE return in 2005 revealed. And that, to me, would have been awesome and interesting. And, you know, 2005, it was a very interesting... Um, year for the WWE on a year you had Hulk Hogan return you had Hulk Hogan going against um Muhammad Hassan uh, and you had Shawn Michaels at the and um you know Wrestle uh, WrestleMania that year was was pretty damn good it was off the 2005 was a good year I thought for the WWE and it would have been even better had Brock Lesnar come back I'll, I gotta admit that fact um but viewers and subscribers what would have happened I mean that would have changed the momentum that would have changed the course of history and, you know, as we all know, Brock Lesnar didn't end up actually returning until 2012 where he confronted John Cena at Raw and what a massive pop Brock Lesnar generated. But it, you know what? It's not out of the question. I mean, you never know. We still could see Batista versus Brock Lesnar in a WWE ring. I think that's a WrestleMania-worthy match. And, yes, their parallels do go back to OVW. I mean, as a matter of fact, if you want a real dream match, you have to go Randy Orton versus John Cena versus Batista versus Brock Lesnar. Those four guys came up at around the same time in the same year and unpredictability and um, history has followed them ever since. So, ladies and gentlemen, your comments and your opinions on Batista, Brock Lesnar, and that match that they that we could have had in 2005, and as we all know, the WWE went on to say, well, don't count on it, you know, don't write them in for sure, it's, it's not confirmed, and now that's where we're at. So, viewers and subscribers, Sister Abigail and Brock Lesnar, on this episode of WWE News Rumors Headlines, subscribe for more of The Brash. And if it's not brash, it's trash. Later.